Hi, this is Jim Wright, and this is Lesson 2 with Solid Edge Cam Pro, Opening CAD Files. We've got four topics that we will discuss in this lesson. Sending files from Solid Edge into Solid Edge Cam Pro. We'll talk about how to open files directly. We'll spend a little bit of time discussing the JT format, and then we'll also give you a quick preview of a later lesson about how to maintain associativity when the model changes. So let's talk for a second about sending files from Solid Edge to Solid Edge Cam Pro. This is an automatic method in the sense that it's one button click. It uses the PLM XML technology. The model data is transferred including threaded holes, PMI, and more. You can do this with a single model or a full assembly. Let's take a look at a demo. Here in Solid Edge, I have an assembly of a machining setup. We have the vise, consisting of the, the vise base and of course the movable jaw. And then inside that we have the part that is contained that will be machined. So, to send this to Solid Edge Cam Pro, we simply choose Tools, Cam Pro. This button will not only send the data to Solid Edge Cam Pro, it will actually launch the application if necessary. Once the Cam Pro application has been launched, the files are brought in automatically. You'll see a report screen that gives you information on the file transfer. In this case, the operation succeeded. You can see that the assembly constraints were maintained with three separate individual files that represent the vise, the movable vise jaw, and the part itself. From Solid Edge Cam Pro, you can also open many CAD file formats directly. Here's a sampling of the variety of the file formats that are supported. Let's take a look at opening some different file types. We have a quick link for opening Solid Edge files. Simply click the button and the filter is automatically set for Solid Edge files. From there you can simply open a file that you want to view. Notice that in this case the PMI also came through because we had applied PMI to this part inside of Solid Edge. We can also open SolidWorks files. File open. Set the filter to SOLIDWORKS files. And then choose the file to open. The procedure for opening Parasolid files is much the same. Don't forget to set the filter. The JT format is an ISO standard number 14306 that covers the design and usage of JT files. JT format is a lightweight format in the sense that the files are not nearly as large as their corresponding CAD counterparts. And because of this lightweight performance, JT has wide industry usage. We can also use them for CAM programs. Let's take a look. Before we can open files in Solid Edge CAM Pro using the JT format, we must first save the files in Solid Edge under the JT format. To do that, we choose File, Save As. 
Then we change the format to JT. It's a good idea to check the options before actually saving the file. Two that I typically turn on are include precise geometry and also save PMI data. That means that the PMI data will be transferred along with the file and precise geometry will give me the ability to have a body that is machinable in my CAM program. Once the file is saved, we can then revert to Solid Edge CAM Pro and open it in the JT format. To open the file in the JT format, we say File Open. We then change the filter to JT. And our file is now open using the JT format. And now, how about a quick sneak peek at a future lesson, maintaining associativity to the changing CAD model. Let's take a look. Here in Solid Edge Cam Pro we have our part that's been machined with a, a facing operation, an operation that goes around the a little plus sign there, and then of course spot drilling and drilling. So what happens if we have a change to the CAD model? Well, let's show you that. I will switch to Solid Edge. And then, of course, with synchronous technology, we can make changes to this model very, very easily. We'll change the width of one side of the plus. And then we'll also change the length of it. Now we can send that to Solid Edge Cam Pro again. Tools, Cam Pro. Notice that immediately the model updates and we get the information about the transfer. And then we also have information that shows that the tool pads are now out of date. The little Ghostbuster symbol tells us that there's something wrong here. In fact, if we look at the the floor wall operation, you can see that it goes directly into the sides of the part now. So, to fix that, we simply choose Generate Toolpath. All the operations are regenerated. And then we can use Verify Toolpath to ensure that the changes we made were correct. We'll turn off the display of the part. We'll switch to 3D dynamic mode and then play the machining on this simulated stock. There, our CAM program now matches the changed model. And in a later lesson, we'll give you the details on how to do this. I'm Jim Wright, and thanks for watching.